guys welcome back to another video and today what we're doing today today we're gonna make some chicken nuggets home style so the kids wanted some chicken nuggets i made it the other night i did not record it so they want it now so i'm like what the hell might as well so we're gonna make some chicken nuggets so you guys we're gonna cut we're gonna cut up our um, breast, our chicken breasts, into small nugget-sized pieces. I'm just gonna sharpen this knife a little bit. Size pieces. And just throw them in the bowl below. So you don't want them very small, but you don't want them very big either. You want a piece just about this size, so you know when it fries, it still have a nice, good white meat in the middle. Yeah, good piece. Nice, good friable pieces. You can cut them smaller if you want. I want them to be able to taste that meat and get that good bite of that meat in here. And there we go. Our meat is already clean. So I'm just gonna season it up. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna season it up and let it sit for about half an hour to marinate. And then, you know, we get into the frying business. While it's marinating, I'll show you guys how I made my, my, um, what you call it? My, I just went bring them. This is chicken seasoning. My batter. <laughs> my brain just went all the way off just now, you guys. Um, my batter to dip the chicken into. Um, this is seasoning salt. all-purpose seasoning these um ch the chicken season and all-purpose seasoning you guys are seasoning from jamaica that's why i don't show you guys the um the container the label but you can use whatever chicken season and all-purpose seasoning that you have available in your house my favorite of all times you guys my perfect seasoning you know i'll leave that girl out of nothing okay she gotta be up in everything I say, everything I do. That girl gotta be up, up and popping. Garlic powder. And onion powder. Okay, you guys, so that's all the seasoning I'm going to use for the chicken. And I'm going to, I'm going to leave it to marinate. I'm going to rub it together, you guys. I'm just washing off the chicken off my hands. And I'm gonna leave this to marinate for about half an hour, just let all that seasoning get into the chicken. And always taste to see if you need salt, you guys. I don't need any salt. leave this to marinate for about half an hour there you go you guys this is what your chicken look like so 
So you guys, we're gonna make the batter. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna use one cup of all-purpose unbleached flour. You can use bleach, unbleach, whatever one you desire. For that amount of chicken, for one large chicken breast, one cup of all-purpose flour. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, one cup of all-purpose flour. And I'm gonna use half a cup of self-raising flour. Half cup of self-raising flour. going to add the chicken chicken um, seasoning all-purpose seasoning onion powder garlic powder <laughs> And the onion powder and I'm going to add some Italian seasoning And I'm gonna taste it before I add salt. So I'm gonna mix that around. I'm going to add a touch of salt, not too much and some black pepper. I'm just gonna mix that around and I'm gonna add water. So you're gonna make your batter, you guys, where the flour is loose when it's liquid. You don't want it to, you don't want it to look clump like that piece right there right you want it to be able where let it be loose to the point where the chicken is able to move through it freely but still up still stick to the chicken so you want it like a pancake batter mix so you want it to look almost like how you make it look when you're making pancake the reason i use the self-raising flour you guys to get that light to get that light coat on the the chicken you don't want it to be hard and the self-raising flour has um baking powder in there so instead of using baking powder i just use a little bit of the self raising flour so i still get that nice crunch on the the chicken so you're gonna have a second plate you guys Tastes your better, you guys. Butter tastes good. And 
And this is how you make your butter, you guys. Nice. May not be smooth, <laughs> but um, it's nice and light. Light butter, you just want a light butter. It doesn't have to be milky smooth. Just want it nice and light so the chicken can work its way through it. And a lot of it don't cling to the chicken. And you can put this to sit for a while while you're waiting for your chicken to be, to marinate. And what do I always say, you guys? Marinate, marinate, mat run, nature me. Okay. And then a second plate, you guys, something nice and flat. You can add the crispy fry mix, you guys. You can get this. This is, I love it for frying chicken. The crispy fry mix is so good for frying chicken. You can add this to a second plate after you dip the chicken in. Then you coat it with the dry, um, dry, fry, dry flour. And then you drop it into the oil, which I'll show you guys everything. Or, and this, I don't season this. When I use this, guys, I don't season it. I just use it plain, just the way it is. Just the way it comes in, to, in the bag. It doesn't come seasoned, but I'm, I promise you, the season on your meat will come shining through that little coat of flour that you put on there when you use the, the crispy fry mix. Or, if you do not have this at home, you can use the self-raising flour to do that second coat, that dry coat. Just put just the same thing you put in the the batter mix. You put the same thing into the self-raising flour mix and dip that in there and drop it in the flour. But I'll show you in the frying pot. But I'll show you when it gets to that point, you guys. So you just add this to a second plate. We're back, you guys, with our chicken nuggets. Um, we're going to add... The chicken nugget to the mix to the wet mix and we also have our dry mix here okay you guys the best way to know if your oil is hot is take a wooden spoon dip it in the oil and if you see I don't know if you can see you can see that if you see start to bubble then you know your oil is hot So you guys, we're gonna take our um, dry flour mixture, or well, it's just dry flour mixture, and we already had poured, put our chicken into the wet flour mixture. You're gonna just coat it real quick. You don't want it to be too thick of a coat on there shake it off and drop it into the water into the into the water okay I'm driven into the oil and you just continue this way you guys until your your chicken is done just continue this way until your chicken is nice and golden brown So I'm going to finish this up you guys and I'm going to come back and I'll let you know how long you're supposed to actually cook them for you. Okay you guys. So I'm just going to finish this up and I'll come back in a moment. Okay you guys this is what we're looking like. We're down to the last batch of chicken. So you guys depending on the size how small or big you cut your chicken as you can see the size of my chicken it it tells you how long you're gonna cook it so I did mine for about five minutes but if you make them bigger you maybe got to do them a little bit longer but I did mine for five minutes 
um, to cook. Okay, you guys. So, this is your ending results, you guys. This is what the chicken look like. Now, you guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I will see you guys on the next video. Okay, you guys? I'm just going to let this cook down for the rest of the way, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Thank you.